Pope Benedict's plane landed in Spain at Santiago de Compostela under foggy conditions. However, the bad weather did not dampen the party. He was received at the foot of the ladder by the Prince and Princess of Asturias, Felipe and Letizia, while the hymns of Spain and the Vatican played. Before a shy and visibly moved Pope, the heir to the Spanish crown thanked him for his closeness to their country. Y los españoles nos sentimos realmente muy honrados de tener, de que en los cinco primeros años de vuestro pontificado hayáis visitado España por segunda vez. Además, en el mes de agosto del próximo año 2011, tendremos nuevamente el honor de recibiros en Madrid para celebrar la Jornada Mundial de la Juventud. Siento una profunda alegría al estar de nuevo en España, que ha dado al mundo una plea de grandes santos, fundadores y poetas, como Ignacio de Loyola, Teresa de Jesús, Juan de la Cruz, Francisco Javier, entre otros muchos. In his first speech in Spain, the Pope asked the West to not only address the physical needs of man, but also the moral, spiritual, and religious. También yo quisiera invitar a España y a Europa a edificar su presente y a proyectar su futuro desde la verdad auténtica del hombre, desde la libertad que respeta esa verdad y nunca la hiere, y desde la justicia para todos, Comenzando por los más pobres y desválidos. Benedict XVI recalled the reasons for his trip to Spain, the pilgrimage to the tomb of St. James and the dedication of the Sagrada Familia. In addition to officials such as the Vice President of the Spanish Government and ministers, hundreds of Galicians waited for the Pope on the tarmac in Santiago de Compostela to give him a warm welcome on his second trip to Spain. Thousands more crowded along the 11-kilometer section of road from the city to the airport. He was greeted by pipe bands, colored flags, and applause.